everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you on Monday here for our weekly uh, weekly event where I will try to share uh, information, principles, ideas, tips that will help you be successful in your business endeavors and in life because a lot of these transformative uh, principles or ideas are applicable to more than just business. Uh, success is the culmination of forward progression in every area of life. And the more that you are applying the principles of success to every component of your life, the more successful you will be, period, and the more balance you will find in life. So not only will some of this stuff that you hear each week help you with your business, but it'll help you in your marriage, it'll help you in parenting, it'll help you with your friendships, and so much more. So definitely take it, break it down, research it, go deeper with it. Uh, if you want to reach out to me and go into a deeper discussion, uh, you know, we will have to obviously find time because I'm extremely busy, but be willing to do that. Be willing to pursue what you find to be interesting beyond what is presented or given to you. That's a part of the process of growth and advancement. What I want to talk to you today about real briefly is the importance of mastering your craft. A failure uh, that I see far too commonly is a failure in becoming an expert in your field, a failure to aspire to a level of excellence in what is being done. There are some people who will put a product on the table uh, that's lacking um, and with no intention on advancing it, growing it, building it. And that comes from a mindset of average, a mindset of default, a mindset of just getting it done. There's no true drive to achieve excellence. Uh, you know, there's a lot of empirical data and experiential uh, matter out there that basically reveals that it, you know, it takes roughly about three years of beating on your craft to become an expert at it. And it doesn't really matter what it is. And I've learned that if you really want to double down on what it is you're interested in, you can actually cut a big portion of that off. But on average, two and a half to three years of doing something consistently over and over again with the purpose of achieving excellence, not just you know doing it casually, but really investing in being better, learning more, learning more efficient ways of doing it, learning how to do it better. It Within two and a half to three years of doing that consistently, day in and day out, you will have mastered it. It's about beating on your craft. It's about honing your skills. It's about saying, I want to be the best I possibly can at this. I want to take my uniqueness and I want to refine it. I want to develop it. I want to become extremely good at it. I want it to be recognized in my work. I want excellence to be observed in the product that I bring to the table, whether it's service, whether it's something manufactured, whether wh whatever it is, it's immensely important that I understand that putting something average on the table doesn't work for me. It's not going to help me build a solid reputation. It's not going to bring the type of satisfaction that my clients will be looking for. I have to want to be better. And then even after you have invested in becoming an expert, you still want to consistently develop. You still want to consistently grow. You still want to be better tomorrow than you are today. It's about investing in your development and in your growth. That's the ultimate uh, uh, forward pushing component of success. 
I am going to be I am going to be better tomorrow than I am today. I am going to commit to excellence. I am going to commit to growing. I am going to be defined by my commitment to excellence. People will see it in my work. People will see it in my engagement. People will see it in the outcomes that I produce on a regular basis. I cannot stress this enough that just arriving and doing something without being committed to excellence it's not going to put you where you want to be in the business world. It's not going to put you where you want to be in your marriage. It's not going to put you where you want to be as a parent. It's not going to be able to put you where you want to be as a leader or a spiritual leader. You are going to have to want to be the best you were designed to be. You're going to want to have to bring out the God qualities that are inside of you, the attributes that will set you apart from those who are in your industry. When you are really truly thriving as a person who is committed to excellence, that will be a separation from those who are not. That's how you stand out. That's how you brand yourself. That's how you establish a position and place in the market. That's how you rise to meet the challenges that were going to be a part of you growing and advancing your business. You have to grow. You have to be committed to excellence. There's no way around it. There's no other uh, substitute for it. It is an intricate part of growing and becoming the best you can be and being an impact in the world that you reside in. That's, that should be your goal. I am going to be impactful. I'm going to fill my space. I'm going to make a difference. I refuse to leave this world the same way I found it. Those have to be uh, factors that drive you. Those have to be truths that you adopt, embrace, and commit to in order to be great. It's not going to be easy. There's nothing easy about achieving greatness. There's nothing easy about being the best in your business. There's nothing easy about rising uh, to the top. It takes commitment. It takes a willingness to push through a lot of difficult moments. It takes willingness to push through a lot of people not believing in what you're, you're believing in. It's going to take a lot of you committing to a standard of excellence that most people simply won't commit to. Uh, I, I, I've heard it a lot, I've said it a lot, that if you want to have the things that most people don't have, you have to be willing to do the things that most people aren't willing to do. It's that simple. And on that note, I'm gonna check out of here, but you have to be willing to put in the work. On that note, I'm checking out. You guys have a great day. Hey everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. I uh, hope that you guys had a great week this past week. I hope that you're having an unbelievable and awesome weekend. I'm not going to be long. I just wanted to stop by because I'm excited about the direction that we're traveling in. I'm excited about what we are doing at the Visionetics Institute, what we're doing at Rick Wallace Enterprises, period. I'm excited about it. We're making some major uh, turns. Uh, we're making some major leaps in progress. Uh, definitely experiencing some um, growing pains, but I would rather be experiencing growing pains than uh, feeling as if my efforts were being emaciated in the, in the way of results. So I'm excited. We're pushing. And I just wanted to stop by and talk to you about uh, something I've been working on for over three years. And we are finally releasing it. Uh, I had just created a program called the Bronze Mini, which is basically like half of a bronze session. Uh, but right now, I want to tell you about Savage in Six Weeks. Savage in Six Weeks is actually the result of numerous requests from uh, potential clients and people who are in interested in how I operate and what I teach and what I do for my clients. And they wanted something more compact. They wanted something more intense, something more affordable. And I normally ask my clients to commit to a minimum of 12 weeks. In fact, most of my clients are operating on a 52 week program, which is a year. 
Uh, I like to work. I like to be intensive. I like to be comprehensive. I like to be fully engaged in helping my clients achieve what it is they're looking for. And success isn't an overnight endeavor. It takes time. A lot of the thinking and the beliefs and the limiting ideas and beliefs that people hold are holding them back. And you don't change those overnight. And so it is a process of development, a process of growth. And I like to do it the right way. So over the last three years, I've been saying, how can I uh, make it more concise, but still make it effective? How can I be able to talk to someone, determine what goals they have in mind, determine what it is that they want to do, and then uh, design and devise a plan that can be executed in six weeks. And so that was the challenge. Oh, that's a lot you can do. I've had unbelievable success with people with 30 days. I've had unbelievable success with someone with one uh, session, but we're not talking about just a, a breakthrough in ideas, a breakthrough in thoughts. We're talking about literally sitting up, sitting up and acknowledging first and foremost that I'm not where I want to be. I'm not, and I'm not talking about not where I want to be in the sense of, man, I've been doing this unbelievable thing. I'm great, but there's another level. Uh, that's a different thing. Everybody should be striving for that next level. I wake up every morning striving to be a better person than I was the day before. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who are literally in a place where they are not happy, literally in a place where they know there's more, but they don't know how to get there, or they are afraid to take the steps to get there. People who are literally at a place where they don't want this to be the story of their life. Uh, there are people I work with that were exceptional when they came to me, but they knew it was another level. They wanted to go there. This isn't what this is about. Uh, there's a place for that. And the people who want to work with me, uh, there's, there's plenty of opportunity to do that. I'm talking about people that I should have, when talking about uh, achieving success, I hear four more excuses of why it can't be done. Uh, or why it's not possible, then I see people taking proactive action. That's my concern. So many people that have so much potential, and every last one of you have potential, so many people who have potential, but are convinced for whatever reason that uh, suffering is their lot in life, poverty is their lot in life, loneliness is their lot in life, uh, working for someone else their entire life is their lot in life. I'm not sitting up... Uh, uh, maligning anyone who has a job. If you have a job and you love your job, good for you. If you have a job and you're fulfilled at your job, good for you. You determine what success means in your life. Success doesn't always have to mean working for yourself. I'm personally a person that loves the control I have at being my own boss. I love the control I have of being able to expand myself at a pace that I'm comfortable with. And when I say comfortable, I don't mean comfortable in the sense of relaxed. I mean that I get to move at the fastest rate possible for me. That's comfortable. When I'm really pushing myself is when I'm, nobody can sit up and say, you can't do that today. No, we, we're not going to even go for that today. We'll do that some other time. I never have to hear that. When I decide I want to do something, I can make up in my mind that I'm going to do it. And then it's all steam. It's all, uh, full steam ahead from that point. Sometimes I get there fast. Sometimes I don't get there uh, when I think I should, but I'm committed enough and I understand the process enough never to quit on my vision, never to quit on my dream. So I eventually get there and I and I help people understand how to do that. But I, I, I hear so many excuses. I'm afraid of failure. What people? What are people going to say? What are people going to think? You know, what will my family think? What if I fail? What if I fall flat on my face? And the thing is, you'll never know if you don't try, first and foremost. Number two, stop allowing people who have very little invested in you to have such a massive impact on how you move, how you think, and how you operate. Because if the people were really, truly in work operating your interests, they will be supporting you. They will be encouraging you. They will see the gift in you. They will see the potential in you. They will be literally challenging you to step out from behind that uh, that veneer that holds you into this position or this corner of comfort and step out into the world. Yeah, you're going to take risks, but risks that are calculated, risks that when you apply yourself will be minimal in how they negatively impact you, but you're going to get some bumps and bruises. I tell people all the time, if I defined my life, uh, there are a bunch of ways I could do it, but one of the ways I define my life is I have made my mark 
and there were times that life made its mark on me. What does that mean? You're going to get scars. You're going to get bru bruises. You're going to have some ups and downs. You're going you're gonna to make your mark if you're set out to make a mark and if you're committed to make a mark. But you're going to get marked up, too. And the problem is too many people are afraid to be marked up. Too many people are afraid of taking the bumps and bruises. The problem is you spend the entire life waking up in the morning, going to a job you hate. You spend your entire life waking up in the morning, doing something you're not passionate about, you're not fulfilled about. And all you're doing is surviving. All you're doing is existing. And I, if it bothers you, you're the people I'm talking to. I'm not talking to the people who wake up and do that and they think that's it. That's what I'm supposed to do. And you're good with it. You're not ready to deal with me. I want to deal with the people who know this ain't for me. I don't like it. I'm doing it because the bills need to be paid. This ain't for me. I don't like it, but it's better than being alone. This ain't for me. I know that I could start my own business. I know I could actually do what I'm doing at this place for myself. This is the people. These are the people that I'm trying to reach. These are the people that I literally designed this program for. This program is to sit up and say, hey, look, here's my vision. Here's my dream. This is how I'm going to quantify my vision and my dream, because once I quantify it, I now have it in a measurable uh, component to where I can see my steps, see my movement, determine what I need to do. And how can we do that in six weeks? I, I, de I de uh, devised, designed a program that does exactly that. This is only for people who are committed. This is only for people who are ready to go all out. This is highly intensive. It is. It requires commitment. And yes, you're going to get out of your comfort zone literally immediately. You're not going to be able to sit back and say, well, this is what I really feel okay with. No, it's not about what you're okay with doing. It's not about what, it's not about what you're comfortable doing. It's about what's necessary. Are you really ready to take your life to the next level? Are you really ready to start living your life at the level of your design? That's what Savage in Six Weeks is about. It is replacing the bronze mini package in my in, in, in the packages that I offer. It is six weeks of this is who I am. This is where I'm at. That's where I'm going. Let's get there. And it is proven methodology that will get you. There's so much that has to change, but we're going to get you started. We're going to get you in the right way. We're going to get the momentum built and we're going to launch you in the direction of your destiny that you have set for yourself. Not what someone else gave you, not what someone else told you uh, was your limits, not something that has held you back all this time, but what you sit up and decide in your life you want to do. And then you go out there and you do it. Am I saying it's going to be easy? I'm promising you it's not. But what I'm telling you, it will be fulfilling. Now, if you're serious about it and you want to do it, there's a link in the box. Click the link. You can read a little bit more. You can sign up. Once you sign up, you'll receive an email from the support team at the Visionetics Institute to gather more information from you to set you up with your first meeting with me. And then we're going to go out and we're going to change your life. On that note, I'm out of here. I'm looking forward to working with the people who are really serious about changing their life. If that person is you, I look forward to hearing from you. I'm out.